The story of a trailblazing black ballerina just 12 years old told by the girl herself. Charlotte Neveres was the first black dancer to play Maria in a Nutcracker at the New York City Ballet. Now she's written a children's book describing that experience. Charlotte and the Nutcracker, the true story of a girl who made ballet history. She's talked about the book with ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi. In her own words, ballerina Charlotte Nebris is telling her story about making history at just 11 years old. The New Jersey native and School of American Ballet student was thrust into the national spotlight in 2019 after she became the first black girl to play Marie, the young heroine, in the New York City Ballet's production of George Balanchine's The Nutcracker. I just wanted to make sure that I made it special, um, not only to make sure that I was um, doing a good job as being the first person to do it, but also to make sure that I wasn't the last person. Charlotte, yeah, now 13, really has kept that vow, really authoring a semi-autobiographical picture book that blends her true story with the classic tale of the Nutcracker. I was pretty surprised because um, it's been, the show's been going on for a really long time. Um, and it was just sort of surprising to me that it never happened before. She hopes the book will allow the next generation to see a reflection of themselves in the dynamic illustrations by Aaliyah Marley. It's mostly just about how I started dancing and playing the role of Marie and then not only Christmas for Marie, but also Christmas for me and my own family's traditions. Flipping through the pages, we get a glimpse into the hours of practice and dedication Charlotte puts into the Nutcracker and her craft. And then this stunning image, where Charlotte is pictured on stage at the renowned Lincoln Center, looking out into the crowd before opening night. For Charlotte, who was born in 2008, the year America elected its first black president, her achievement felt long overdue. I just hope that people can sort of be able to see themselves and think, oh, well, if she did it, why can't I, you know? Like, it, there shouldn't be any sort of, like, doubt in ability, it is possible. The milestone, 65 years in the making, bringing the conversation about diversity in ballet center stage. And Charlotte's family traditions, a combination between her mother's Trinidadian side and her father's Filipino roots. My grandpa, he's very well known for his adobo and we all love to eat it during the um, holidays. And while her unique multicultural background is starkly different from that of the character Marie she plays, Charlotte says the magic of Christmas bonds them. Everybody can sort of relate to that, spending time with family. It is through the support of her family that the ballerina says she has come so far. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to do it without my family, my mom. She, like, all throughout elementary school, she'd be the one, like, taking us out from school early to drive us to New York. Charlotte, a testament to the power of representation herself, vividly recalling years ago when she was once seated in the crowd watching American ballet dancer Misty Copeland in awe. For Good Morning America, Monaco Saramti, ABC News, New York. Great story. Mona, thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.